Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the featherweight bout between Dan Ige versus Andre Philly. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going low confidence Dan Ige to beat Andre Philly. And I feel like in this one, uh, what do I feel like about this one? Um, this is a matchup where neither guy really has a beat on the other guy. It's not a case like, oh, stylistically wise, I do well against um, this type of guy. Or stylistically wise, I do well against this guy like, or oh, I would say um, Ige shines best. You know, he shines well in dog spots. He's not typically a guy that you would say, oh, he's such a consistent shining as a favorite guy. Or, you know, big spots is a favorite. He shines well. I would say that. He shines good in big spots as a dog. Um, he shines well when he's the better striker in a matchup with a grappler, fellow grappler. Um, he can shine in matches where his opponent is like, doesn't have, you know, have a grappling deficiency. But, um, yeah, it's a... It's a tough matchup, and Andre Philly just like a 500 fighter in general. Like, he could beat anyone. He could lose any style. And Ige, like I said, this is not the greatest matchup. I feel like Philly has good wrestling defense. He has underrated wrestling offense. He has experience. He's the longer like your fighter. I would say he's the better striker. But, yeah, I see a tough fight. And if, but if it'll come down to who wants it more, and even then it might come down to who the judges want to win more. Like, so I just go see this a close fight. I see this going to the distance. I definitely could see either guy finishing, probably more likely Ige finishing, because Ige is has been so durable. I haven't really even seen him very much hurt too much in fights. So he's pretty 30 in. So, but, um, yeah, I'm going Ige here, going decision, going close decision, probably really probably like a split decision. But I think Philly probably have the cleaner, more consistent striking. But I feel like Ige is going to kind of will his way to land these heavy shots and try to force shots. And then also try to mix and take down. They probably have limited success with, but he's going to get like an A for effort, basically. I feel like a close fight, but Ige probably going to be trying to push the pace more, trying to stalk and land some heavy shots. And Philly... I feel like Philly probably will get dropped at some point in this fight. This guy's kind of hanging his hand low. He does throw punches like with his chin up in the air at times. And we try, especially when we try and counter you coming in. But he does a good job to recover well. He's in good shape. Pop right back up. And he get right back to work. And it doesn't let the getting dropped or hurt, you know, throw him off too much. But that's just very close to matchup that is won by the slimmest mark. Like, oh, like, again, like maybe a case he gets caught and wobbled, you know, trying to counter, like check hook um, Ige coming in. And then Ige is able to duck on to catch him with like overhand and might sit um he get, I mean sit that Philly down briefly in a fight and maybe in a round maybe where Philly is, you know, being longer, being more agile, being more mobile and catching Ige as he's trying to stalk him down. But then that one drop in a prior round that's a little bit close, but clearly like a Philly round turns into an Ige round or he's able to get a takedown here and there. But yeah, I just see it's a very close fight because neither of these guys has a clear advantage over the other guy. There's no real great clear advantages in any area because it's not like he's like some great offensive wrestler. Like he's going to be the, taking down, you know, consistently and controlling consistently. That's not really there. Um, it's like, again, there's no real clear, consistent path like a draw for either guy. But yeah, I see the close fight. But again, Ige just willing himself to a win in a close decision. And probably, you know, at certain moments or key moments, um, would it be attributed to luck or this good um, persistence? He'll be to edge out those moments and find those moments to win a close decision over Andre Philly. So in this one, I got Dan Eag via decision.